All right, Virgo, these are going to be your guidance cards for the week of March 21st through March 27th of 2021. So energy of the week is all tied up. It's number 23. When this card comes out, this means that there's something that could be blocking your way. Um, sometimes it's like some sort of technicality that's blocking your way from being able to accomplish some goal. Virgo, sometimes this is a person that is trying to block something from you. Um, but a lot of times when this comes up as energy of the week, um, Virgo, it's something that you're blocking from yourself. Um, so I feel like it's something that you could be doing um, where you're kind of blocking out something. Um, you're, you're keeping yourself tied up on purpose is what I mean. All right, let's see what challenge or obstacle you might face this week, Virgo. So you have the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles, I just got ruthless. Um, so something, something ruthless. Um, but the King of Pentacles can be seen as someone who is ruthless, um, but he's someone who's very in charge, very resourceful. He has everything he needs. Um, he takes very good care of his people. Um, you can see like they live all in the mansions behind him. Um, so it's possible that as the as this energy, um, like a challenge or obstacle you're facing this week, it's possible that you're feeling like you're not able to take care of someone or you're not able to offer someone um, like what they deserve or what they need is what I'm getting. A lesson you've already learned that can help you with this challenge or obstacle. You have the Two of Swords. So the Two of Swords is about making a decision. A lot of times the Two of Swords comes out um, when you you know you need to make a decision. It is in your lessons already learned, um, but you're having a hard time. With this card, I always get like she's stuck between a rock and a hard place. Whatever decision she makes, doesn't she doesn't feel like it's going to have a good outcome. And it's possible that this is why you're keeping yourself all tied up is what I'm getting. Um, because you feel like whatever choice you make is not going to give you like a, a positive outcome, a good outcome. Some, nothing good is going to come from either decision is what I'm getting. Virgo, your outcome. Wow. The Six of Pentacles. I'm so, I don't know why I said that. The Six of Wands. So the Six of Wands is a victory. Um, it he's riding in on his horse victoriously um so whatever decision it is that you're having to make here um i feel like you've had you've known for quite some time that you need to make it um, but i feel like it's possible that you release yourself this week and that's how kind of you come out victorious i don't feel like you're going to come out victorious if you decide um, to continue to stay with this all tied up energy i feel like you clearly make some sort of choice and that is how you come out victorious at the end of the week we are going to clarify. We're going to use the Gilded Tarot this week to clarify. So for the King of Pentacles, you have a Page of Cups. So it's some sort of new offer in love. Um, it's some sort of like, um, the pages are young, new, fresh, immature sometimes, like not at its fullest potential. And that is what it is. So whatever um, you're having to take care of, um, whatever you feel like you have to, um, you're not having getting the resources or the money to be able to take care of someone. Um, it could be like a dependent or like a child. Um, it could be like I'm getting like, the, so pages are young. It could be you're doing this for someone you love like your child, um, but it could be something to where it's not reached its full potential. And that is why you're not able to yet. With the two of swords, you have a two of cups. So again, clearly this is about love, um, some sort of love situation. It doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic um, like love partner, especially with the Page of Cups coming out and then the Two of Cups. Um, a lot of times for me, like if it's a, if it's the lovers, um, then that's more of like a union. That's more of like a, a romantic a union. That's like your soulmate, your significant other, your spouse, your twin flame, that kind of situation. With the Two of Cups, it is two people that care deeply about each other, but this could be family members, this could be friends, your soul tribe, that kind of situation, some sort of partnership. Um, and I feel like the decision has to do with some sort of partnership. And I just picked up that if this is about children, the decision has to do with parents. Like I'm seeing two parents here and they're having a hard time like deciding or agreeing on something is what I'm getting. With the Six of Wands, you have the Queen of Cups. Um, so you're victorious because, um, again, maternal. So Queen of Cups is like the mom of, the, of tarot. Um, so I feel like you... That's who's victorious, the mom. If this is like a, a, an argument between a mom and a dad, um, maybe with what to do or how to take care of a child, I feel like at the end of the week, 
um, the mob is victorious, and that is a very direct message for someone. Um, but if that's not the case for you, I, I feel like that could just be a few of you, um, but if that's not the case, I feel like you're victorious um, because you have this abundant, uh, fertile, brand new, uh, it's kind of like that page of cups, like a brand new, clean, fresh, new, exciting um, love, a new um, a new adventure, a new, something that's um, exciting because it's new is what I'm picking up. Wow, Virgo. All right, I do want to say we do have that full moon, the worm moon. It's going to be on the 28th. So this is the week before the full moon when you're really going to be doing a lot of releasing um, anything that doesn't suit you. So I do feel I am very much picking up like a home situation, um, a family situation for someone. Um, but this, if this doesn't uh, resonate like as a family situation, it is possible that this is just something um, that you're trying to do for yourself, like you're trying to take care of yourself. Um, it's possible that you're trying to make a decision uh, between like love and work or something like that. Um, but you choose yourself, I feel like, is at the end of the week, that is what happens. All right, so with Queen of the Moon, we'll do two, one for the beginning of the week and one for the end of the week. And you have a pleasure. So this guidance card is just telling you, um, you can see all the, the dark this is kind of like leaving her and she's surrounded by all this white light and it's telling you that in order to feel pleasure in order to be happy in order to have joy in life you have to release you have to let go of things you have to let go of negative energies and negative things that are no longer suiting you so that you can make room for the white light so you can make room for the more positive energy and then you have faith and faith, oh, it's the worm moon. Look at that. And I just got done saying, Virgo. So this clearly is going to be a significant moon for you for some reason here. I feel like it's because you're choosing yourself. Um, you're choosing, if you're a parent, you're choosing your like maternal instincts is what I'm getting. Um, but have faith talks about um, the universe has your back. The, the universe is not here to um, set you up for failure. So just have faith. Um, if you feel like you need to pray, um, to whoever your higher power is. I could be telling you something like that. Um, but the worm moon is about abundance. It's about prosperity. Um, and that's what those pinnacles, the king of pinnacles is someone who's very prosperous. And so the worm moon is about someone who's been working really hard for something and that abundance is going to come in now. You're going to release all the stuff that's been blocking you and keeping you from getting that abundance. This is a beautiful reading. All right, Virgo. The Moonology Oracle is for your thoughts and emotions, and you have, it's your North Node, step out of your comfort zone. Your North Node, so your South Node is um, your past, your things that have happened in your past. Your North Node is what you're always headed towards, like it's your purpose, your future, right? And in order to get to this goal or to your purpose or to where you're headed, you're going to have to step out of your comfort zone. All right, Virgo, this is normally where we would leave it and we would end the reading, but I have a little bit of a surprise this week. Um, I've added the Numinous Astro deck, and this deck really has to do um, with all the astrological parts of, of my tarot channel. Um, this is really going to help you be able to put um, this information and with your own birth chart um, so it can be more personalized and less general. A lot of times with these general readings, some things will resonate and some things won't and it's because they are general readings. Um, with this particular deck, we're going to use it to clarify your energy of the week and then this is going to let you know where in your astrological chart or it could also even be like today's um, current astrological chart uh, where you need to apply this guidance. So with all tied up, you have Aquarius, the innovator. It's about experiments, being unique, being liberal. Um, it says eccentric, futuristic, so about your future. Um, so I do feel like if you have any Aquarius um, in your birth chart, you'll want to look to see where that's at um, because that's where you're going to feel like you're having this blockage. Um, but it is about something that you're trying to create, like something that you're trying to manifest. And I do feel like it has something to do with prosperity and these pinnacles so that you're able to take care of your family. Or if this is just being able to take care of you, you're able to do it comfortably. All right, Virgo, I feel like that is your guidance for the week. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, if this feels like your tribe, please like and subscribe.